Hi friends, my name is Anagat Srinivasan, first MSc Biology student. Here my topic is Principle of Centrifugation and the Swerberg Equation. What is Centrifugation? Centrifugation is a process used to separate or concentrate materials suspended in a liquid medium. It is a method to separate molecules based on their sedimentation rate and the centrifugal fit. It involves the use of the centrifugal force for the sedimentation of molecules. It is also used to measure physical properties such as molecular weight, density and shape of molecules. If centrifugation is used for separation of one type of material from others, it is termed as preparative centrifugation, whereas if it is used for measurement of physical properties of macromolecules, then termed as analytical centrifugation. Here is the figure of centrifuge and these are the major parts in a centrifuge that is chamber, motor, sample, rotor, lid and etc. And in the figure it also shows that how will be the sample before and after the centrifugation. After the centrifugation the solution will be divided into separate layer such as supernatant and pellet. Next is the principle of centrifugation. Particle which differ in density, size or shape sediment at different rates in a centrifugal field. The particles will tend to sediment under the influence of gravity. If the particles suspended in a liquid are so small or have a density so close to that of the liquid, then the force of gravity fails to sediment the particles into a separate layer. So the basis of centrifugation techniques is to exert a large force than the gravitational force to enhance the effective sedimentation force for the separating such particles from the liquid. In centrifugation, the particles are normally suspended in a specific liquid medium held in tubes which are located in a rotor. In a solution, particles whose mass or density is higher than that of the solvent sink or sediment and particles that are lighter than it float to the top. The greater the difference in mass or density, the faster they sink. The rotor is positioned centrally on the drive shaft of the centrifuge. Particles which differ in density, shape or size can be separated since they sediment at different rates in the centrifugal field, each particle sedimenting at a rate which is proportional to the applied centrifugal field. A centrifuge increases the sedimentation by generating centrifugal force as great as 10 lakh times the force of gravity. Let us consider a solution being spun in a centrifuge tube. The centrifugal force acting on a solute particle of mass m e is equal to m omega square r, where omega is the angular velocity in radians per second and r is the distance from the center of rotation to the particle. Hence, omega square r is the centrifugal acceleration. A particle will move through a liquid medium when subjected to a centrifugal force. Next is sediment coefficient. The sediment coefficient that is s is equal to v by omega square s. v is the sedimentation of molecule whereas omega a is the angular velocity and r is the distance in centimeter from center of rotor. The sedimentation coefficient is the ratio of wave velocity to the centrifugal acceleration. The sedimentation coefficient has units of second. A sedimentation coefficient of 1 into 10 raised to minus 13 second is defined as 1 Swerberg. This unit is named for the Swerberg, a pioneer in the field of centrifugation. These are the important conclusions drawn from the equation. The sedimentation velocity of a particle is proportional to its mass. A dense particle moves more rapidly than a less dense one because the opposing buoyant force is smaller for a dense particle. Shape 2 is important because it affects the viscous drag. The frictional coefficient of a compact particle is smaller than that of an extended particle of the same mass. The sedimentation velocity depends also on the density of the solution. Thank you for listening my class.